Alright guys, this is GTMS ME13 and wow. Haven't uploaded a video in a long while. Well, you know, freaking school is getting tight finals. But finally I'm done with it. I'm still in finals, but right now the only test I have to take left is pretty pretty much freaking easiest ones I have to take. Chemistry, English, you know. Anyway, of course what you're seeing here is a new speed carbon chase with classic 69 charger car looks freaking sick. I miss old muscle cars. Freaking new ones these days are so crap. Anyway, I, I'm not gonna say anything about cars or this video. Actually, I'm gonna say something about cars. It's about new Need for Speed coming up. Most Mod 2, or just the most run reboot because we can criterion gain someone. Call it, I don't know why. But anyway, freaking so much backlash in that game one for one thing because it's made by Criterion, Criterion Games because of course it won't have a storyline or anything and you're seeing all these ridiculous crashes between race racers and cops and all that and people are complaining because they wanted the um classic new speed back they wanted most wanted back they wanted this back they wanted the underground series back well all right let me just say right that's right away I don't like when people go in like games just get like reincarnated like they're like re science like take for example take for example sports games it's usually the same shit every year no one tries anything new thank god Treyarch freaking Black Ops 2 a anyway but the fact that people want to see the same damn games reincarnated I mean in my opinion that's just s it's not really that bright I mean seriously if you want on a reboot game, just play, just rebuy those old games on the ground too. Most whatever, like I did here, I rebought. I first played Carlin, you know, had a lot of fun with it, but I had to resell it for other means. And then just last year, I bought, I rebought Carbon for the PC, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. It really is. But anyway, it doesn't. I mean, seriously, people, you should just go back and buy. The class of tiles for freaking PS2 or whatever. I know PS2 games can run PS3. I know, definitely know, there are 360. There are still copies of most wanted for the 360 out there. I'm serious. I went to GameStop not long ago, and there was a most copy of most wanted for the 360 with just a line there. Uh, but yeah, quit at quit. I mean, seriously, quit trying to stuff it down EA's throat. You know they are freaking money grubbing scrubs and all that. But seriously, you guys aren't gonna see like direct reboots of this. I mean see the new most wanted. It looks in my opinion it looks cool, but it's all said and done because it it has a lot of similarities to Hot Pursuit back in twenty ten. But that's but that's I mean, I'm still got definitely gonna yeah, def definitely gonna be better than Need for Speed Run. That game was complete trash, freaking dice Go kill yourselves. Seriously. Just stick to put making Battlefield Medal of Honor or whatever you guys do. And just let Criterion Games do what they do best. Make racing games. Bronze is so awesome. But um yeah. Oh uh, what else was I talking about? And um oh yeah, customization. Ruins need for speed. You see this Dodge Charger? Barely touched it. All I did was put on a black coating and add nitrous. That's it. I mean, it's beautiful the way it is. I mean, look at this. Who doesn't like classic muscle cars? I mean, it's so awesome. Even little, you know, beat up scratches and all that. But, uh, no problem. Still looks nice. Still intact. No severe damage. Awesome when it's freaking going fast and all that. I do get away. Of course, as usual. Uh, but yeah, freaking. I don't want. I don't really. I don't want to see customization in a racing game for a long time. I mean, customization make car looks freaking ridiculous. Have you seen what you can do in freaking other car? You can make an Audi R8 look as much douchebag. I mean, it can look so horrible. I mean, I've seen people customize like Supras, freaking Lamborghinis. I mean, that just ruins it. I mean, the only cars you should be able to tune are like freaking Japanese tuner cars. All right. Like, um, Toyotas, Mitsubishi's, Mishibi Eclipse, that thing you can customize. What else? Any Japanese made car should be able to be, um, c 
customized Nissan Nissan 350 Z's I mean seriously you see them coming all the time that it's not really a big deal and all that so I mean I don't mind customizing customizing that but customizing freaking three hundred thousand dollar cars is just wrong and even classic cars shouldn't be customized and all that I mean think about it back in the original Need for Speed I'm talking about not the underground series or the most wanted carbon series I'm talking about the original Need for Speed Need for Speed 1, 2, Hot Pursuit HIGH STAKES oh my that game was so great probably I think that was probably my sec the second racing game I ever played in my life and I loved it loved that thing to the bone high stakes Whew, that was so fun but all those Need for Speed games they didn't have customization in it was it a problem? No. And even so, if people want to customize it, they can just freaking mod the hell out of it and just make freaking put ridiculous cars in it and all that. But, um. Oh, what else to say? Actually, it's not much else. I think I just covered everything and all that. How long is it? Six minutes? Oh, that's oh, that's good. Oh, so yeah, just I didn't even expect to go through this like in six minutes. Anyway, just leave a comment on there what you think, and no backlash. No trying to don't try and change my opinion. All right, I'm saying need to speed. Don't go back to results. Keep coming up with something new. Fuck customization. Keep that shit out of the game. It ruins it. I mean, except for shit, because that's a racing game, you know, all cars freaking need to be modded in some way, shape, or form to increase performance, so that's the only exception, but freaking in street, street game, like, mo like most wanted, hot pursuit, and all that, no customization at all, I mean, it just ruins, ruins the game entirely, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is just leave the original in-game audio in here, and, um, let you guys just enjoy the you know, classic gameplay of Need for Speed Carbon for the PC. I did record this with um for apps, so you might see a couple of couple drops in frames here and there. And also after this pursuit, I do take on a a rival crew challenge, which if you don't know what a rival crew challenge is, it's basically some guy in our crew basically trying you to like a point to point race with like no barriers and all that. It's pretty simple because he's freaking slow as hell. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and, um, yeah, enjoy yourselves, guys.